Hi everyone, today I will tell you about Ingenious brand products. We will prepare a demo installation with one wireless management switch and two access points. First, I will show you the model of the product. The model of the product is a double US 2910P. This product is a layer two wireless management switch this is a PO switch. It has 8 GB ports. There are two SPF ports. In this section, there are LEDs that show operating status information. There is an on slash off button and power input on the back of the device. This is Ingenious Access Point. The model of our device is EWS 357AP. A product used for indoor use. I will connect two access points to the access point controller. We are ready to move on to the installation step. First, let's install the Radius server. We open Server Manager to install Radius server. We will add you to a new role. In the list that opens, we will select Network Policy and Access Services. Network Policy Server installation is finished. It is ready. Open the application and check. Now let's install Microsoft Certificate Authority. To install Certificate Authority, we open the server manager again. We will add a new role to the server. We will select Active Directory Certificate Service from the list. From here, we click on Configure Active Directory Certificate Services and follow the instructions.
create a user and group on Active Directory. I connect two access points to the controller via CAT6 cable. Assign the user as a member of the group. The IP address of my access point, DV10.48.48.0606 tab, in the properties of the user account. Now, make the necessary settings on the network policy server. In the Radius Client section, we will write the IP address of our access point device. The IP address of my access point device is 1048-48-160. I need to create a shared key. This shared key must be the same on the radius server and access point side. I am adding the group I created previously here. Now I need to go to the access point and make certain settings there. I go to the wireless section under the network tab. I assigned the name YAGMUR1 as the SSID. In the wireless security section, I will select WP A2 Enterprise. In this section, we need to write the radius server IP address. To find out the radius server IP address, we can use the ipconfig command on the radius server. Radius server IP address 1048-48-220. In the radius secret section, I will write the same thing here as I wrote on the radius server side.
the configuration is complete. Now test it. I am trying to access the YAGM UR1 network with the user1 user that I have previously defined on Active Directory. Connected successfully. We can also control the connection via the access point device. I had two access point devices. The IP address of the second access point is 1048.48.170. Now we will add our second access point device to the RADIUS server as a RADIUS client. I write the shared secret key in the same way. We need to write the same value on the access point side. I did the adding process on the RADIUS server. Now, I will go and make the necessary settings on the access point. On the second access point, I define the SSID name as YGMUR2. We add RADIUS server information under the wireless security section. Now I disconnect my computer from YGMUR1, which I connected to before. I will connect YGMUR2. For the authentication process, I will use the user account named User1 that I created in Active Directory. My computer was successfully connected to YGMUR2. So far, we have only managed individual access points. Take the necessary steps to manage two access points via the controller. My ingenious controller IP address is 1048.48.150. Ingenious brand has produced it to be used both as a controller and a switch. I add my devices in the Access Points tab under the Device Management section. The controller already finds active access points of the same brand.
I added the devices, but still haven't pushed a new configuration on them. We can check that the current configurations are still valid on both devices. We can see both in the networks that can be connected. We can click on the names of the devices from the access point menu and see that the current configuration is still not deleted. In the AP Groups section, let's add a new group. New SSID name, via GMUR Center. In the security section, we will select WP, a 2 enterprise, and enter information about the RADIUS server. Now go to the RADIUS server side. Add the controller device as RADIUS client on the RADIUS server. The configuration on the controller and radius server is finished. I will try to connect to wired GMUR center via my computer. I have successfully connected to the YAGM UR Center network. We can see our connected device in the Active Client section under the Monitor section of the controller. After creating a group on the controller device and adding the access points to this group, the configuration on the access points is gone. Thank you for watching.